Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. It is the jungle out there. It's a jungle out there, and of course, the animals are all out to get the king of the jungle, Donald Trump. Welcome to The Savage Nation. What's intriguing to Michael Savage is tonight's debate, of course, the big news. And of all places, of all places, the most anti-American and the most anti-conservative network is running the debate with two of the biggest losers in the media as moderators. The Crescent News Network, as I've called it for years, laughably went to some of Hollywood's lowest slime and asked them what questions they would ask the Republicans tonight. So they approach the softcore porn stars Sharon Stone and Susan Sarandon, who in their heyday were softcore porn. Then they ask male and metrosexual America haters, what questions would you ask the Republicans tonight? Now, the real question should be, why is Hillary not debating anyone? Why is she being hidden from the American people? Why is Debbie Wasserwoman Schultz hiding Hillary? What is she covering up? And so I ask you, my audience, both in America and around the world who are listening to the Savage Nation, welcome to the show, by the way, what questions would you ask Hillary Clinton if we could get her to come out from hiding? It's all well and good that the Republicans are debating openly. And, of course, the reason they're debating with these two loser moderators is because the Republicans picked them to undermine any conservative elements within the uh, candidates and aim all their guns at Donald Trump. But he will, he will smash them tonight, there's no question. Here are some of the questions I would ask Hillary Clinton, and I invite you to call 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282, with your questions for Hillary Clinton. One, Mrs. Clinton, are you ashamed for having unleashed the refugee crisis in Europe? Two, Mrs. Clinton, do you regret having orchestrated the sacking of Benghazi, Libya? Three, Mrs. Clinton, are you embarrassed and would you return some of the hundreds of millions of dollars funneled into the Clinton Library? Now, to all of my dear listeners in America and around the world, what questions would you ask Hillary Clinton if she were forced to debate? And as you're calling me, I have to tell you, a new story came out that confirms everything I've been writing about for over 21 years, broadcasting about for 21 years, talking about for 21 years, one bestseller after another trying to defend our borders, our language, and our culture. The data is in. Elusive crime wave data shows frightening toll of illegal immigrant criminals. This just came out on Fox News this morning. It's astounding. Trump is 100% right. You see, the federal government can tell you how many Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders stole a car, or the precise number of American Indian or Alaska Natives who were arrested for vagrancy, or how many whites were busted for counterfeiting in any, any given year. But the corrupt, illegitimate government agencies that crunch crime numbers are utterly unable or unwilling to pinpoint for the public how many illegal immigrants are arrested within U.S. borders each year? We have the answers for you, and you'll find out that these murders and these rapes, these kidnappings, are not happening in a vacuum. I have the numbers for you. You'll not believe the answers. Now, for years, in my books, my best-selling books, by the way, I have talked about the fact that approximately 30% of all of our prisoners are illegal aliens who are put there not for breaking into the country, but for committing really big felonies. Well, the data shows what kind of felonies they're producing. And what we're seeing going on in Europe, where all hell is breaking loose from the Muslim invasion, we have seen an invasion in this country go on, starting with Bill Clinton, and now metastasizing under Barack Obama. And now Obama wants to bring in at least 100,000 Muslim refugees into the USA to add to the, to the hordes coming in from Central America. Refugees are rioting and attacking police in Hungary, screaming Allah Khabar. It's a Muslim invasion breaking through into Europe, a Muslim invasion. At the same time that the Muslim invasion goes on, and we are facing our own invasion here in America, now to add insult to injury, the illegitimate president wants to admit with the stroke of a pen, going around the people in Congress, 100,000 refugees from 
Syria, from Africa, most of whom are Muslim. The country cannot take anymore. This country is at a breaking point. It is a jungle out there. We cannot survive in our own country if we, if we permit this man, this maniac in the White House, to go against common sense and the will of the people. The phone number here is 855-407-282. The government will not give you the data of illegal immigrant criminals. You won't find it anywhere else, but on Fox News, just published. And the data is real. They didn't make it up. I know the uh, stoners will say, well, it's Fox News, therefore you can eliminate it. No, no, there's actual data. Statistics show that the estimated, they say 12 million illegal immigrants in the U.S., that's nonsense. There's at least 30 million by my estimate. They account for 13.6% of all offenders sentenced for crimes committed in the U.S. 12% of murder sentences, 20% of kidnapping sentences, 16% of drug trafficking sentences are meted out to illegal aliens. Did you hear that? There are approximately 2. Point million illegal aliens or legal immigrants with criminal convictions living free or behind bars in the U.S. Each year, according to ICE, 900,000 legal and illegal immigrants are arrested. 900,000. 700,000 are released from jail, prison, or probation. ICE estimates there are more than 1.2 million criminal illegal aliens at large in the United States running around. This is a nightmare. It's out of control. Remember my motto, borders, language, culture. How many bestsellers has, have I written with that theme? My last one was Stop the Coming Civil War the one that Obama has initiated on this nation. A silent civil war, a non-shooting civil war, a war on white police, a war on middle class, a war on our government, a war in our language, a war in our, la la our culture. You think he's going to stop? No, he's not going to stop. The people have to rise up and stop him. And I must tell you, at the risk of offending some of you out there, that my forthcoming book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture, lays out the final and last best chance to stop this invasion before we become a minority expunged from our own nation. 855-407-282 is the phone number. Let's go back to the debate. They've got you again flummoxed. They got you asking yourself what questions would you ask the Republicans? They turn to softcore aging porn stars like Susan Sarandon. Uh, she hasn't been hot since 1971. Sharon Stone hasn't been hot since 1941. And they ask them, what questions would you ask the Republicans? Like they, they suddenly have any real questions. Now, the real question is, why are there no Democrat debates? After all, the Republicans, for all of their flaws, debate. There are many candidates. Don't you Democrats wonder why there are no debates on your side? Well, it's simple, because the more they see that old criminal hag, the less she's liked. Every time she opens up her mouth, people see who she is, and they don't like her. So she's protected by the worst sort of human being, that Brooklynite, whatever her name is, Vassavum and Schultz, the type of woman who made me leave New York in 1970, uh, whenever I left. I fled New York in 1968 because of women like Debbie Wasserwurm and Schultz. Unfortunately, they're now running the Democrat Party lock, stock, and two barrels. And Debbie Wasserwurm and Schultz refuses to permit Hillary Clinton to debate anyone. Why? Because Hillary Clinton has too much to lose. Every time she opens her mouth, her poll numbers drop. What questions would you ask Hillary Clinton if you could get her to answer a question? I'm asking you a question. We're also going to talk about the astounding lack of justice in San Francisco. The BS stories in this city are amazing. Remember the case we tucked on, touched on yesterday about a venture capitalist with political ties who was arrested for allegedly striking his girlfriend more than 100 times over a 30-minute period in his apartment, and a home security video recorded the entire incident, and a judge, can you believe there's a judge in San Francisco? who would throw out the evidence, and the guy walks. Can you believe this? Because they hired Willie Brown to cover the case. A million dollars was given to Willie Brown. Oh, we returned most of it, yes. We understand that, because he's just so, so uh, above it all. But this guy who allegedly beat her, hitting her over 100 times, walked. Well, I called my attorney 
Daniel Horowitz about this, and he has some very interesting observations about this judge and about how the law was violated by the judge and by the defense, and we'll cover that. And for your edification, we're getting the real journalists, not the copycats from the Chronicle who I had on yesterday, but the real journalists who actually broke this story by doing the real journalistic work, the real reporter from the Wall Street Journal who did the hard work and discovered the emails which shows the trail of injustice in San Francisco. All this and more right here on the Savage Nation. Be here or be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Shortest straw. Shortest straw has been pulled for you. What a song. You know, I've always loved Metallica, and I've used some of their... Um, pieces for bumpers since 1994 but if you look at the song meaning of the shortest straw you realize what great poets these guys are you can easily under underestimate musicians and dismiss them but they are the poets of our time and this song shortest straw speaks for what we're dealing with now we the american people have drawn the shortest straw imaginable in having this illegitimate man foisted upon us who is trying to destroy our way of life as rapidly as he possibly can. Illegal aliens, crime wave, the fraud of global warming, flooding us with Muslims. Flooding, now why do I say Muslims? Because tell me where they've integrated well. And tell me moreover why Muslim nations won't take the Syrian refugees. If they're all such sterling characters, why is Saudi Arabia refusing to take them in? Why have they put military... Uh, equipment on the border. Why will they not let them into Saudi Arabia? They sit with a hundred thousand air-conditioned tents in the desert of Saudi Arabia and they will not take one Syrian refugee. And we the morons who have pulled the shortest straw and I will tell you why. I'll tell you why in Europe they're rioting to keep them out and why, we, why we're doing nothing here. We have been deballed. We have been debased. We have been intimidated. The vermin in the media, the vermin in the legal profession, professions have intimidated us from standing up for our own rights. We won't even stand up for our borders, language, and culture. I'd like to be in front of a stadium with 100,000 people. And you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to have you rush to the border. If you have to, rush to the border and say that's the end of the road. Just push the government out of the way and defend ourselves because the government is killing us. The government will destroy us. The government is stealing our nation from us. The shortest straw. The shortest straw. Take a look at who they put, put in, in charge. Take a look at this man. Look at this man and what he's done to this country and what he wants to do to the country. And look at the moron, the drug addicts, the morons. Look at the moronic drug addicts who like it just fine or don't even know what this man is doing to this country. So I ask you, is I'm going to watch a debate tonight? All of us will watch it, who have a brain. We'll see them try to gang up on Trump. We'll see the unrated talk show host, who's always been a wannabe, from an unrated network, uh, try to undermine him again with some idiotic, arcane question. And of course, we'll see Jake Tapper, who has the brains of a, a woodpecker, who's eaten, who's eaten foul uh, nuts, ask moronic questions. Stooges, Stooges of the RNC, Stooges of the Republican National Committee. Who do you think put set this thing up? Lance Previous, the uh, Club for Growth, the Better Business Bureau, uh, Microsoft, who ran the last debate to get cheap labor. Yeah, Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, Mr. Pockmark Face, Mr. Undershirt, for whom there's not enough money in the world. For whom there can never be enough money and never low enough wages. The psychopaths, all of them. They set up the last debate. Microsoft, you didn't see the big M on the stage? Is uh, Sorry, Facebook, sorry. I got that right. Facebook. That's why there was an F on the uh, screen, along with uh, the Fox News. The F stood for Facebook, who wants as many cheap labor, uh, labor rights as they can get. Facebook, they don't want to pay American workers fair, fair, fair price. They want to bring them in from India. They want to bring them in from anywhere on earth to displace American IT workers.